is on the eve of Easter and school holidays, New South Wales. Um, so far, I'm not going to say it, I'll jinx it. So let's see how long it takes us to get out of Sydney. Look where we got to. Definitely got out of Sydney. <laughs> So this is as far as we got last night. Had a sleep, it's now 6 a.m. and we are going to continue on to the South Australian borders. Just here between Cobar uh, and Wilcannia. A little bit cloudy this morning, but uh, just loving getting away, enjoying it all. Yeah, the roads are a bit chopped up from all the rain that they've had out here. We'll catch you on the flip side. Hopefully we can buy some fresh um, fruit and veg just while we're in South Australia, then get rid of it before we go into Western Australia. Anyway, it's all fun. And we've just been escorted here by the police. So it'd be um, good to get ahead of them. So we cleared it, uh, but we've been told we might have to get rid of our firewood to enter Western Australia. I'll have to inquire about that one. just going to have a little look down here there's a track that leads to the water yeah, so I'll have to let the tines down on the van and the four-wheel drive will be come down here check this out this is where you can camp 
just whether we put our tires down because we are venturing on tomorrow towards Sejuna. It's pretty nice. I think I might catch something there if I throw a line in and look at that. Very pretty with the sun setting. Now do we do that or do we try and find another spot? Looks pretty good. So we've decided we're gonna just have the caravan up here and we can just walk through to the beach. It's just so sometimes you should just let your tyres down, shouldn't you? <laughs> but of course we're still travelling tomorrow. Uh, anyway, we'll put some max tracks down and just try and pop her out of here and then get our camping spot. pop us out of there so we can then go in here and then the beach is just down there and have a fish yep. and then what <laughs> out and assess maybe I don't know why does he do these things? <laughs> Here we go, he's just going to drive it around. There we go. <laughs> so I think maybe we were a little bit fatigued and too keen to get into our camp spot. We didn't think. Uh, anyway, it's all part of the fun, I believe. And we are finally letting our tyres down. Who else does that? Wait till the last possible um, time when you've had enough of digging out. Should have did that right from the beginning, but anyway. Look at that beautiful sunset. We should be sitting by the beach having happy hour. Except we're stuck. Off that vehicle. Oh, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. go. oh, might need. Come on, get the Land Cruiser out. Yep, 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 we're up, we're up, we're up. 
wonderful people. Look at them. <laughs> okay, hopefully oh, this is it. Yeah. Come on. Look at the star. Oh, it's beautiful. What is it? It's a Land Cruiser. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh, awesome. And now we have to get that caravan out. <laughs> now he's trying to winch the caravan out. And these beautiful people have got their South African relatives here and showing them how good the Aussies are to help other people out. We're very grateful. So we've got the caravan getting winched. Hey, they've almost got it out. This is awesome. Look, we've got a cheer squad. We're almost there. Just got to get that caravan out from around the corner. <laughs> so, she's looking level, which is good. Yay! Fantastic! <laughs> so it's another day, it's just after 5 a.m. We missed out on fishing yesterday afternoon because of our little uh, pickle that we got into. We thought we'd get up, watch the sunrise, which is just coming up over there, and throw a, a rod in, see if we can catch something. I don't really know what's out there at the moment, so I'm going to try to fish. And if I feel like I've got squid on, I'll switch over to a squid jib. Anyway, wish me luck. So we've decided to um, pitch the fishing there, too much weed um, just for our rods so we are going to keep heading west and um, see if we can maybe find a wharf or a jetty and have a little go there or keep driving. Anyway, we're making it up as we go. So we've come down to Oyala and we're going to have a little fish off the jetty and I'm feeling pretty confident my squid jig that I'm going to catch a squid. Let's see how I go. So, had <laughs> no luck. We gave up on the fishing. There'll be plenty of time to catch fish, won't there, Steve? Oh, over here, this is Wayala. This is steel works. the steelworks. Pretty incredible looking structure. Whoops, and we're just heading up to the lookout. Mount yeah, Mock Hill, I think it's called. So, this is Wayala. There are bunkers up there and some marina down there. That's where we unsuccessfully did some fishing this morning. And on a clear day, that water is spectacular. And this is the town of Wayala, where the lovely people who helped us last night live. Anyway, we're going to hit the road and keep going west. There's a little birdie. Seagull. So we've just stopped at Puchira in South Australia, just to stretch our legs. There's a little gallery up here and it says, come and have a look, mate. Pretty Australian. Just have a little look. So this is the artist Dusty and he does fantastic paintings and they are so reasonable. And these ones, if you've got no room on your walls at home, you can pop in the garden. Yeah. 
They're so your man good. Mm-hmm. Next yeah. week I'll start all the footy logos. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, and he charges, I think, $200 uh, for these. So if you're into your, get the portraits. Yeah, they're, they're 70 if you pick them up here. Oh, well, 70 for these. Post what about your footy lo- um, uh, like uh, logos? You said footy you, logos, yeah. they're $100. Yeah, I see them to you. But I do character ones, character, you know, like different ones. Yeah. Sure. Imagine these in a pub. They've got a card view on them. Fantastic. Well, sketching too. That's yeah, the logo. Right. Of it. But that one got wet, so it's buggered. Oh. Um, that's fantastic. But they're five hundred dollars. A Swedish company buy all my sketches. Right. They well. Out, uh, yeah. So nobody in Australia. Fantastic. Sees them here. Oh, what a gorgeous chappy he was. Well, I've bought something for our garden. I bought one of the big ones, but anyway, that was nice. We could give him $20 cash. So, if you come to Pachiri, there is a public toilet here, most um, importantly, and a gallery. And you can go home with a little bit of artwork. This is going to go on our wall at home. This was $20. Good on you, Dusty. So we're at Penong and at Penong is the biggest windmill in Australia and we're about three to four hours from Bunda Cliffs which is the Great Australian Bight and where the Nullarbor starts so we're actually going to do that tomorrow um, but we're just going to drive a little bit further west and try and find a free camp for the night maybe have a fire and um, yeah just relax till we head off again tomorrow and get on to the Nullarbor. I'm hoping we can find some wombats along the, along the way, play a little bit of golf anyway, hopefully the weather will be good for us. <laughs> Being a big kid. Well, making the fishing well work. Ah, it makes the water pump. It makes it dizzy. <laughs> It does make you dizzy, it's not spinning. <laughs> so by swinging it pumps the water, does it? And it's a good um, way to have a break from driving. <laughs> Having a little swing at Penong. There we go, the wishing well, pumping the water. All right, that's your exercise for the day. So we're at a well-known um, Lake McDonald with a pink lake except that the sun isn't shining on it so it's not day exploring Wayala, Sejuna and we're now at a rest stop called Kid Nippy on the Great Australian Bight and I feel pretty safe here. We are beside, not far from the road anyway, um, there's a few other campers further up that way but not near us so we like our little space but it's nice when you're relatively remote to just know there are a few other um, campers around so there's no psychopaths <laughs> hopefully going to come and get us anyway we're going to have a fire and uh, we're thinking about maybe cooking up some garlic prawns possibly we bought some prawns from Sejuna and we can have a campfire because we have to get rid of our wood I think before we go into Western Australia Happy Stevie? Very. <laughs>
Yeah, good. Yeah. So um, we bought some oysters from Sajuna and apparently they're from, I think she Streaky said Bay. Streaky Bay, yeah. And then I'm going to do my Thai gin inspired, gin um, infused. or gin infused, sorry, um, oysters as well. And Steve is just peeling some prawns and we're just going to cook up a bit of the garlic butter and do those prawns that they were actually frozen when we bought them. Yep. It is Good Friday. Um, so we're just going to keep the rest for tomorrow, but we're just going to cook up a couple for dinner tonight. And I've got a little satchel of rice. I'm just going to um, add to a little bit of water and cook on the stove. Anyway, that's our dinner tonight. Recording. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of this Worcestershire Sombol Olic. <laughs> Don't know if you actually say it differently onto these oysters and then we're going to pop these in the barbecue with some bacon on top with some bacon oops that one's going to spill and i'm just doing it in a foil tray to save too much mess and then yeah just top with a bit of bacon um, here we are this is the gin one and i actually put for my little bite some tabasco in there so i'll just um steve had one of these natural with nothing on it but we're going to put this little oh, gin yeah. gin lime and tabasco Whoop. a bit of capsicum garnish and, um, you leave them for half an hour an hour the gin sort of tenderizes everything sounds good so here's the test can oh, i try wow. the the gin infused a bit of a bite Mm. Definitely got a bite and the crispiness of the um, capsicum. Unreal. What about the oyster? Oyster, superb, always. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to try our Kilpatrick. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love that better. I love that better than the ones we did at Christmas. They are so good. Yeah, a bit of Sambal Ollie with Worcestershire, and I did put a little bit of Tabasco too. Cheeky. Yum, delicious. So now it's time to cook our uh, main meal, and that is with our beautiful prawns we've got. We're going to do a garlic butter. Um, but firstly, I'm going to just use the one pot, so I only have one to wash up. I'm using Ben's rice. This is lightly flavoured chilli rice. Stevie and I like it quite. <laughs> um, anyway, all you do with these is add them to a fry pan or saucepan and put about 30 ml of water with it and um, heat it up till it's warm. But what I'm going to do is um, I have to use up any veggies I have because I can't take them across into Western Australia. I've got some um, leftover zucchini that I've grated and some red capsicum. So I'm going to add that to my rice. Now, I'm not going to add the water because zucchini has a lot of moisture in it anyway, and I think that'll be enough. So I'm just going to heat that up and pop it in a bowl, and then I'll get on to my prawns. So my lovely chilli rice is cooked. I'm just going to pop that aside for a second because I want to show you I have actually made some little bowl cozies that you... Oh, pop your bowl in so you can sit by the campfire without burning your hands because you've got a lovely little insulated um, bowl casing. Now, if you'd like to own two of these, I have a little competition that I would like to um, offer. If anyone would like um, to win these, please make sure that you post a, a comment under our YouTube video, episode one, and tell us what it is that you may like about what we do on YouTube. So, yeah, make sure you make a comment. Also, like us on Instagram, Gibbo's Road Trip Adventures, and tag a friend. So I will look at that and make sure that you've done both and um, the best entry will win two of these. I will send them to your home and you can keep them in your caravan. So they are really good. So anyway, I'm going to dish up my rice and now I'm going to do my garlic prawns. Okay, so using my same pot, so I only have one to wash up, I have a knob of butter that I'm going to melt and I'm cheating. I don't have any um, fresh garlic only because we are crossing the border and I don't want to waste it. 
So I'm just using some minced garlic out of a jar. I'm going to put a really good dollop, whoop, like that, into my butter. And that's melting down beautifully. Just show you that. That's what that looks like. And then I'm going to throw in my lovely prawns. They are cooked already. So this is really just to give them a bit of extra flavour. We've left the tails on them because it looks nicer to present it that way. But if you weren't doing a video and showing people, I'd probably take the tail off so you can just sit by the campfire and not choke on a tail. <laughs> anyway, I'm just mixing that garlic butter through and then I'll serve it up. So there you have it. How delicious does that look? Yummo. <laughs> have a perfect day to hit the Nullarbor. So let's do it Stevie G. Yeah, yeah. can't wait. <laughs> yeah, we can, aren't we? So here we are at the Nullarbor Roadhouse and the funniest thing just Happened. We had a lady just run out of the roadhouse saying, we, we watch you on YouTube, we follow you. Anyway, hello to Julie from Mystery Bay. You're awesome. Made our day. So we're just driving towards the Great Australian Bike and this is called Wombat Hotel. So we need to um, keep an eye out for the beautiful wombats that live out here. So there's wombat holes all around this place. So wouldn't it be lovely if we just find one? Steve's on the lookout. These are massive holes, so they must be very big wombats and there is poo around, so they're here. So we made it to Bundercliffs, a place that we've been keen to get our caravan to, which we were calling the mothership, but um, after we got bogged in the sand, the lovely people from Wayala named her Mildred. So this is Mildred. <laughs> I love it. Love an old name. Um, yeah, so we're here and this is on our bucket list that we can tick off now to get the caravan here. Um, last time we were here, we actually came with a tent and um, yeah, nice to have a caravan, very comfortable. Anyway, I'll take a little bit of video of where we are. I love 
the um, tail of the Nullarbor nymph where a naked woman years ago was reported running with the kangaroos on the beach um, but it was actually a myth made up that um, created attention for Eucla so good little marketing for <laughs> Jimbalara Hill Rest Area, which is just outside Norseman. And we're watching the sunrise. This normally happens in our backyard, but we are a very long way from home. Today we plan to head to Perth and then straight up to Durian Bay on the West Coast. How's the serenity? <laughs> just about to get the chainsaw started. Firewood. This one's that great. Firewood. Nice and dry. That's a great um, supply of firewood. Awesome. Looks like really nice hardwood. Hopefully it burns warm. It's actually 20 past six. I have no idea of time. <laughs> Go to the Gumbo Mora Road or Bindu Mora Road, whatever, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. Right. Turn left again. Yeah. It brings you out the Bindu Pub. Yeah. Oh, oh, the pub. So, <laughs> is, well, is there something going on here? Obviously. Very serious truck accident. Oh, right. Okay. No. Okay. That's and the no trucks good. and the trucks can't get past. They can't no. go the way we're going. No. We yeah, because the road's like this. No, right. Yep. And it's not a road train route. Yep. Right. Uh, All those trucks have to wait. Yeah. Oh, a bad accident. Wow, look at all the trucks. Well, Bay is such a pretty town. This is their lovely find. It's just funny, you've been, um, when you're planning a holiday for so long, um, you just have the names. It's nice to actually see the place. So we did it, the east coast to the west coast in four days. We'll finish this video here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on episode two as we explore the Western Australia coast.